Hello everybody and welcome back to F1 Manager 2022 and uh, yeah the penultimate race of the season is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix in uh, Brazil which is lovely right we're, we're fourth we're ahead of Alfa Romeo it's what we wanted five points clear of Alfa Romeo so they're the team we've got to beat this season and um, yeah all we need to do is go and set our performance targets we've got four million in the bank that's because, I didn't tell you this, did I? We are doing the final part of the design centre, which is absolutely incredible. Should really help us out. Wind tunnel's nearly done as well. So um, we're going to get lots of good updates on the cars. So we will uh, reach Q2. We will get a qualifying position above 12th and we'll get one driver into Q3, which will probably be Alonso. We won't go for the fastest lap and we'll try and do both of those as well. Right, that is done. Um, I don't know if we've got any points that we can do Drugovic no Zhang no and uh, Alonso no as well which is a little bit irritating what about our staff technical chief no aerodynamics no race engineer no race engineer no okay I think we may replace these guys we may go and see and no one will talk to us it's a race weekend but I think at the end of the season we're going to see if we can go and get a new technical chief and a new head of aerodynamics as well just to give us that real impetus to go and get uh, as close as we can to that world driver title and world constructors championship next season i do plan to continue this for a, a season three i think it's good fun i'm really enjoying the game it's just finding time to uh, to record and play at the moment maybe next year we'll do like every other race or something or every three races i don't know let me know down below do you prefer to see every race and the videos be a little bit delayed or do you want to see more videos more videos more often but of less races i think is the best way to describe it anyway right let's get in to the sao paulo grand prix i'll see you for qualifying here we are then back for qualifying uh, both drivers have 97 percent confidence in their setup which is awesome uh really good not quite 100 but we still get all the bonus points we just need to fit all the actual race going uh, stuff on the car 64 percent, 62 64 percent is the winner for that one on fernando alonso's car and then into guan yujou not that's not the one i wanted car parts that's the one i wanted engine get that least worn engine in there we'll get the ers back in there as well and uh, the gearbox will go with 63 66 there we go lovely jubbly um practice wasn't amazing heavy rain due uh, in qualifying as well so i think it's going to be a case of getting out there as soon as we possibly can to try and get this done so i want to quickly pause uh yeah rain come in early doors so let's go send out and we'll see the nice little animation from the pit lane which is good i normally skip this but it does look good um so joe should come out any minute there we're going to send alonso out um as well they're both exiting the pit lane they should come out together if we can yeah so wet weather predicted rain is coming so we need to go this should get us through as long as we don't crash into each other some other drivers coming out we'll get a bit of traffic but we should be setting a good enough time here to get through because if the rain comes as soon as it says which is pretty much now uh, let's get down to trackside see what we can see with the drivers yeah, so no rain just yet. Stroll goes quicker than us. A number of drivers haven't left the pit lane yet. It's not actually raining just yet. But, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. 75% of chance of rain in one minute. So, I'm going to suggest that we... We'll wax some intermediates on for now, just so that we've got a set on there and we're ready to go. But in theory, I mean, yeah, look, people haven't left the pit lane and it is now raining. So we should. I mean, there's not much I can do now. If we, if we don't go now, yeah, there we go. We're going to be safe. No one's set in. Uh, it's raining all the way for the rest of the session. So we are going to be totally fine. We're going to be through because these guys that haven't set a time yet aren't going to be quicker because it's raining. So the track is going to be slower. So, lovely. Like, it's not the best, 8th and 9th, but we're through. And that's all that matters. So, we'll fast forward this. We'll be back for Q2. And there we go at the end of Q1. Yep, 8th and 9th. Uh, nobody improved. Shocking in the rain. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Lots of grid penalties in front of us as well, which is absolutely awesome. We lose Magnussen, Lando Norris, Schumacher, Hulkenberg, and Sonoda from Q1 into Q2. We go soft compounds out again at the beginning. So... 
let's um, put that old set on to start. Same for both drivers. We'll put that used set on, just because we only did one lap on it. We'll go in and manage it, as we always do with qualifying. And uh, again, a quick, quick pause. Is there rain coming? No, there isn't. Okay, so I think what we'll do, let's send Joe out to clean up the track a little bit. Early doors. And do we go and set an early lap now? Yeah, let's go and set... Let's get both drivers out. We'll go and because we've got a fresh set of tires to put on after this, so shouldn't be a problem for snapping out early as well. Uh, we've got Alonso in a bit of traffic behind Perez, and both set a, a time there. Verstappen will smash it 1.5 seconds off the Red Bulls. We are now, which is absolutely heartbreaking when you think how close we were, sort of mid-season, and with our development that we had been doing. But we are in. We may get. I mean, we've got fresh tires to to ride on, so. It might be a tough ask, but you never know. I mean, Leclerc, Vettel, Russell, Hamilton, Albon all need to set a time still. You'd imagine Leclerc, Russell and Hamilton are all going to go quicker. Although Leclerc does lock up, that's not going to help him at all. So it's all going to be down to how we can do it on these fresh, soft tyres, really. Is it going to give us the sort of two tenths that we need? Joe actually went faster than Alonso. That traffic to Alonso must have hurt him. More than I realised, to be honest. Very tempted to send Joe out now. To try and beat the... Tra yeah, let's send Joe out now. You're going to try and beat the traffic, Joe. Let's see if this works for him. It might not. If everyone else comes out... He needs to get past before everyone comes out. There we go. Right. So let's get into one time speed. So Joe is starting his fast lap at a pretty good time. Because he's going to miss all that traffic. It is a relatively short lap here, so we're just waiting for everyone else to come out. Here they come. So there is, not too sure who's coming out there, but we'll send Alonso out now, just to make sure that he does set a time. So Joe is going to come round and only jump up to 11th, so not ideal for Guan Yu Joe. Alonso's sitting behind the snap and hopefully gets a bit of slipstream off him as Alonso starts his fast lap. So Alonso needs to find... Eight tenths of a second. It's quite a big ask. As Alonso comes round, can Fernando Alonso jump? No, he's into a twelfth. Bottas might even beat him. He might push him down. We might be behind both Alpha. We're, both, we're behind both Alpha Romeos. Bottas jumps all the way up to th third. Bloody hell! Thirteenth and fifteenth is the start in Brazil. The car is definitely nowhere near as good. As it once was, but um, yeah, 13th and 15th. We will jump up some places because of these grid penalties. Okay, so race day we're coming up to. It's only cloudy, no rain coming here. So it's going to be all down to strategy. They say soft, hard, medium, potentially. Um, is there? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. I mean, look at that. It's going to be absolutely no chance of a uh, one stopper, I don't think. I don't think you're ever going to really... No, you're never going to be able to drag that out. Do we want to finish? I think what we want to do is that. I think I want to start softs. No rain at all. Start softs for a bit of pace. We're starting in the middle of the grid, though. We want to... Probably want to go slightly longer. What's the time difference do we know the time difference of the tires um reports circuit info overview time considerations so well okay so average pit lane time was 24 seconds aha here we go compound performance so you do get a huge improvement with the softs Whereas the hards and the mediums are 0.05 of a second difference. I'm sort of thinking then, you do want to go onto the softs for some spare, for some pace. At some point, you do want to go onto the softs. I'm sort of leaning towards that. But if we start with this, I think go with that for Alonso. 
And then we'll go with it for Joe as well. And we're just going to offset it slightly. We're going to send Joe out a little bit longer on each of those. And then I think we mix it up. If we think we can go to the softs, if there's a safety car, something like that, I think we'll be all right. Let's uh, push. Don't have to push the tires too much from the beginning. Fuel you can push. ERS will deploy. ERS deploy fuel and push the tires a little bit. It's not a position 9th and 11th, so not too bad for both drivers. Up into the top 10 and, and top 11 for Joe. Right, let's get into it. Paolo Grand Prix. Here we go then. Sao Paulo Grand Prix into Lagos at the starting up the hill. It's a front row lockout for Red Bull. And we're off. And, um, well, there is Fernando Alonso. What can he do straight off this first sort of S-bend corner and round here? We're getting past... Uh, Albon, we've got Gasly just in front of us as well. What is uh, everybody's strategy? A couple of the softs, most on mediums. Be interesting to see how this plans out. Magnussen is already overtaking Guan Yu Zhou. That is uh, that is not good from Zhou. Zhou needs to get his acting gear there. As Alonso's trying to keep pace with this group in front. So many cars bringing upgrades to um, the latter part of the season. Zhou trying to get back at Magnussen, but you can see he's just sort of falling in line oh he's gone oh that's a lovely move from Guan Yu Zhou if we can get this done yes Joe. lovely to be on board for that big fan of that lovely stuff as uh, Alonso still now oh Gasly looked like he ran a little bit wide there didn't quite go wide enough oh into the grass goes Gasly that would slow him down a lot in real life right let's uh, get our fuel back in line as well and uh, right lap one done minimal incidents on lap one there's not too many safety cars uh, expected to be here, I wouldn't imagine. But, um, right, we we can sort of settle in, I think, after that first lap with the, the update that Joe on the charge. He's up into 10th. We've got two drivers in the points. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, oh, someone spun. Sector 1. I think it's just going to be a yellow flag. Nothing too much at the moment. Who was it? No one's really dropped off. Ocon, who... Uh, it was he in front of us? It must have been. He's dropped to last anyway. I don't think he was in front of us because we're still 8th and 10th. But, yeah, not too bad. Okay, let's drop our ERS. And it's just to make sure we're managing that sensibly as well. But for now, we're in an okay position. We're in 8th we're in and 10th. If you think we qualify, what, 12th and 15th, we're doing all right. That Ferrari is in a world of pain here. Charles Leclerc battling with Lewis Hamilton. Valtteri Bottas is so OP in this game, as if he'd ever get an Alfa Romeo up to fourth from qualifying. Absolutely ridiculous. But uh, anyway, two laps down, or coming up to two laps down. All in all, pretty uneventful start at the moment. So back on lap nine, it's all gone a little bit peat on. Alonso and Joe back to 12th and 14th. We're really struggling for some pace uh, in this car. It's not ideal. Sainz has cut his way through the field a little bit. Joe really struggling on his uh, medium tyres. We had decent starts and now it's um, all falling apart a little bit. We're really struggling to keep pace with cars in front. It's a bit strange. So, I mean, look how far Verstappen is out in front. Absolutely ludicrous. Bottas holding up everyone behind him. In second place at the moment is Valtteri Bottas. But yeah, Alonso, look, coming around these corners, we really need to work on our, our general top speed and our high speed cornering, I think, for next season because... Everyone seems to pull away through the low low speed corners. We're okay. We can make a bit of time up, but high speed corners we generally lose out quite a lot. I mean, look at that—that that jump from 0.8 to 1.1 in those high speed corners, and it's really costing us. So I think that's where the upgrades have come, um, and the dirty air is now making a big difference after the upgrade. So definitely something to focus on uh, going into next, or something we have focused on this season, but to be aware of when designing new components next season. But 12th and 14th, no incidents of note or anything like that. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pit stop related, really, to see how we do. I think we will maybe stretch out the hards and get onto the softs at the end to give us a chance. But, yeah, at the moment, not too much to write home about. So 15 laps in, it looks like the medium tyres are coming into a bit of their own. The soft tyres just drifting off a little bit. We've regained on Stroll and Vettel. Uh, Joe shouldn't be too far off getting on Stroll as well. In fact, we could probably push him into a bit of overtake try and get his ERS uh, on the go a little bit as well. So Vettel and Stroll are probably going to drop off a little bit, but everyone else on the mediums is really pulling away from us right now. It is um, it is tough to decide what to do here. If we could have done a medium-soft-medium strategy, I probably would have gone for that as well. But 
Yeah, we had a quick look at those speed differentials and the hard looks like they'll be okay. But uh, yeah, Guan Yu Zhou going to look. Alonso still having a look at Vettel. Can't quite get it done. As you can see, he's depleted his ERS and it looks like Zhou's going to do similar as well. So we'll have to get him into neutral. Unfortunately, Zhou didn't get it done on Lance Stroll, who's getting pulled along by DRS by Fernando Alonso as well. So um, yeah, there's Stroll on board. That's Alonso trying to hold him up. But we're stuck behind Vettel, who is also very close on the back of Magnussen as well. So we do need to really make something happen here. I'm just thinking if we got we have got a little bit of tire tire wear to play with here. So let's go aggressive, push a little bit on the tires. See if that helps us out and makes a difference. Okay, so Vettel has come into pit from his soft tires. Stroll span as well. So Alonso's back up to 11th, not far off Magnussen, who's going pretty slow. The three soft tire runners are now in the pits. We'll be expecting other people to pit on a similar lap to us. Um, I'm just thinking, do we bring Alonso in one lap early and go for an undercut on those hards? I think we do. I think we do that, which means we can then actually bring Joe back on to, no, do you know what? We're going to leave Joe out and go for an overcut with Joe. We're going to try and bring Alonso in earlier than what we think everyone else is going to pit and leave uh, leave Joe out there for one extra lap. Joe did have a bit more tyre wear, yeah, 2% more tyre wear than Alonso. So hopefully we can make this work. If we can end in the points, I think it'll be good for us here. We've, we're really struggling in the slow car. I mean, Danny Rick's catching up with us as well. Joe is catch. Alonso's going really slow. Alonso is really going slow in this car. Has he got da I don't think he's got any damage. No, tyres are okay. Everything's doing all right. No no aerodynamic damage. The tyres are all in range. Ah, Hamilton is the first of the medium runners in. He's going to go onto the hard tyre. And, uh, okay, that's going to push us up then. So, we are in our pit window for both drivers, so... We'll have to, hopefully, we are still going to be pitting one extra lap earlier than Alonso, try and get the undercut. But yeah, it looks like Alonso is the slow car. I, I'm going to get these guys to battle and just see if Joe can get past him. Well, we don't know. No, no, no. I might as well harvest that with Joe behind you at the moment because Joe's going to need to gun it for that extra laps that he's going to stay out for. So yeah, that's, that's true. We don't want to push it too much. As long as well, I was going to say as long as Joe can keep Ricardo behind him, but that looks short-lived, doesn't it, um, for now? But we know we're all going to be pitting at similar times as Joe's looking to get back at him there. I don't I don't mind that too much. We have asked Joe just to drop down a tiny little bit in what he's doing. But yeah, Alonso will be coming in after this lap. All right, let's get you out of Harvest. It's a bit of useless, isn't it, Harvest? It, I don't think it's worth it for what you get back. I just don't think it's worth it. So, um, right, we'll get the message in a minute to say that Alonso is pitting this is the optimal pitting lap and he'll come in so right as he starts the uh next lap we should get that message to say do you want to bring him in right now there we go pit options onto the hard tire pit this lap right so alonso is going to be coming in so you can absolutely gun it my friend uh, and go from there as he's trying to fend off daniel ricardo who is going to have drs on him i imagine Yes, he is. He's getting right behind him, trying to slipstream. Really trying to get that done, Danny Rick, but I don't think he's going to get the opportunity to do it in the first DRS zone. So Alonso coming in this lap. Granu Joe staying out for a couple more. He's getting, um, yeah, he's getting actually. What the update has done has made it much more like real life Formula One. There's a lot more sort of DR, there's a lot more training, a lot less overtaking. Um, yeah, make it's much harder to overtake. A lot of the cars are similar pace in DRS and things like that. You have to really manage the battery more, which I'm not the best at. But um, we're getting there. We're getting there, so we'll be okay. As Alonso is, uh, is so Bottas is in. Russell is in. They're only two pitting from the front. Albon signs in as well, so a lot of people coming in on the same lap as us, which is okay. It's not dreadful. As uh, Guan Yu Zhou is going to... There we go. Alonso's in. So, Guan Yu Zhou, this is where you need to... Well, I was going to say absolutely rocket it, but you haven't really got much ERS. So, Alonso's in. We need a good stop here from the crew. As uh, Ocon comes in from behind us as well. Going on to the hard times. I imagine most people are going to do the same strategy here. Alonso is in. It's a stop of 2.3. Lovely stuff. And he gets out before Ocon, which is good. And uh, now we are 
pushing Guan Yu Zhou, who's up into seventh, who was, well, just behind Daniel Ricciardo, right? Sector one, is it a yellow car? Is it a yellow car? Is it a um, safety car? No, it's not. So Alonso's in. It's, oh, it's Vettel. That's good for us. That's very good for us. Vettel uh, spins. So let's watch Guan Yu Zhou for a little bit. Alonso is at six seconds off Albon behind him. But on fresh tyres, we're just going to get him to manage himself there. Guan Yu Zhou is pushing Daniel Ricciardo. So this is the one, right? It was Ricciardo and Alonso battling. So ideally now we want to see when Ricciardo pits, we want to see Alonso come out be ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. That is what we want to see to see if this has worked. So we're going to get him to push the tyres a little bit. Push the fuel as well, just on this lap. Ricardo doesn't come in. He stays out, as does Guan Yu Zhou. So this is, uh, this is very interesting. We're on the optimal lap for uh, Guan Yu Zhou. So pit onto the hards for Guan Yu Zhou. Pit this lap. Lovely stuff. As uh, lots of people coming in now. Zhou up to fourth. Where is Alonso going to end up? So Alonso is just coming round into the start and finish straight. It should He should gain quite a few places here. So he's going to jump Norris. There's Norris. Is he going to jump Magnussen as well? Magnussen you can just see coming out now. Alonso, sure, it's going to be quick because you get the pace out of that lane. But we do jump Kevin Magnussen as well. So, okay. We're sort of where we were. We can leave it on aggressive for a little bit longer. Let's bring the fuel down, though. That is something we need to just watch after the instances we've had recently. Joe is pitting this lap, so he's still on the back of Danny Rick. And you'd imagine Danny Rick is going to come in at the same time on the same lap because Danny Rick is on medium tyres as well. Got a bit more life in him than we have. Leclerc comes into pit. Sector 2, there's another competitor who's run wide. So, Guan Yu Zhou should now be entering the pit lane and is. And Danny Rick stays out again. Wow. Okay. So, Alonso with K Mag on his tail for a bit of fun. Let's bring those tyres back into range. Guan Yu Zhou is, uh, is pitting. We had a bit of a glitch there. But Guan Yu Zhou is in the pits onto the hard tyres. He's going to do a 2.4 second stop. That's pretty decent. Alonso still battling with K Mag is going to go past his teammate. And Joe is coming down the pit straight. Such a long pit lane, but you do manage to get a bit of speed up as you come to the end bit here. And he's going to be coming out in front of Lando Norris, I think, I hope. And he does just filter in in front of Lando Norris. So not too bad there for Aston Martin in their pit stops. But, yeah, we're struggling to... Um, all right, we're going to... Har oh, harvest is so crap, though. I don't want to put it to harvest because I know that that will just let K-Mag get away. So... Let's drop Guan Yu Zhou back down to just manage his, his things as they are. So 14th and 16th, but not everyone has pitted yet. Verstappen and Ricardo and Schumacher and Hulkenberg all still to pit. So you'd imagine they're going to come in pretty soon. So Ricardo's 31, 32. I think Ricardo might still get us here. You know, I think Ricardo's managed this really well to be ahead of Zhou and Alonso. Annoyingly, Bottas up in third is going to be huge points for Alfa Romeo. That is a right kick in the teeth. Where is Danny Rick? He's doing another lap on those mediums. Wowzers. He must be doing medium hard soft. He must be doing medium hard soft. He has to be. Has to be doing that as a strategy. So 14th and 16th will probably gain a couple of places. Maybe one place with the pit stops that are still coming. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult at the moment. No rain coming here at the moment but we'll have to keep an eye on the radar as well so yeah no safety cars a few yellow flags but at the moment it's not brilliant although Alonso is uh, having a go at Kevin Magnussen here who's still he's on Kevin Magnussen's on mediums I've just noticed he must be doing medium medium hard interesting okay the fact that we're battling with kevin magnuson when we're on the hards is very good to see to be honest because they're both on fresh tires so yeah don't mind that at all and guan yu Zhou isn't far behind them as well lando norris on his tail but um yeah not too bad so lap 28 alonso still in 13th danny rick had a spin and he's still out on those medium tires which is absolutely bonkers Zhou uh, got overtaken by lando norris but is still trying to get that place back from him um but yeah danny rick 
had a spin, dropped down to 10th, and is still on those same medium tyres. Is he going for a one-stop here? I mean, that's absolute. Surely he's pitting this lap. Surely he's got to be pitting right now. 29% tyres, and he's not. He stays out again. Daniel Ricciardo, you absolute madman. What are McLaren doing with his strategy? That is just bonkers. So Daniel Ricciardo finally comes in to pit. And uh, it's really cost him because he's going to lose a number of positions. He goes onto the hard tyre. 41 laps to go. I don't think they'll last 41 laps, Danny Rick. But uh, that Zhou is up into 14th. Alonso's up into 12th. Still battling with, uh, well, can still see. He's not really battling with them. But can see K-Mag and Ocon in front of them for the points. So uh, Alonso isn't completely out of this one yet. But, yeah, it's all going to come down to how we manage this at the end of the race. And that's going to be the crucial bit. We are... Lagging a bit behind the group of the pack of cars I'd like to be there. Sector 2, again, yellow flag. Someone's run wide um, in that. At the moment, we're just sort of ticking along. It's not really anything too interesting, too exciting. Um, I mean, Vettel running wide doesn't really help as he's behind us at the moment. So, yeah, not... It's all, it's all okay, to be honest. It's all all right. If we push these hard tyres, what does that give us? It really kills them off. So, all right, we'll keep an eye, see uh, see how it goes, be back if there's any interesting news. Okay, lap 41, we've been, I've been on board with both drivers at two times speed managing their ERS, and we've got it into a really good position, so that when we get to the end of the race, we're going to have about 75% battery, I think. So if you'll see it here, they're both in neutral at the moment, but it goes down, because it's the start of a new lap, and as soon as they break here, they go up to like 65, roughly, and then they keep it at about 65, deploy it a little bit around each corner, and we'll be in a good position come the end of the race. But it's a long way to go yet. We've, um, I mean, these guys are battling so much. They're both defending. And when we get DR, that, that, if we deployed our battery there, we'd be in a good position. I mean, that, that needs to be patched in the game because Magnussen would probably crash putting that much uh, dirt in. Joe is six seconds behind Alonso. I'm tempted to get him to just push everything to try and catch. Alonso. So Alonso has run wide, but he's kept his pace, so that's not too much of an issue. There, he's doing all right. There is a Sector 1 yellow flag. Someone else has run wide in Sector 1, though. So, yeah, let's get let's get Joe to try and catch Alonso if he can. Norris ran wide, who was behind us, so that's okay. There's Vettel right on our tail. So can Joe close this gap to Alonso and try and gain, join this next pack in front? It would be quite helpful if he did. Oh, we've had a crash, but it's only a yellow flag, not a safety car. Not sure it was. Bottas is in the pits, but I'm not too sure who crashed. So ERS is dead for Joe. It was Vettel behind us. Let's have a look at it, because I'm not too sure what happened. So Vettel, there you can see Joe was pulling away from him. Did he just lock up? And, yeah, he locks up. Oh, straight into the tyre wall. I assume he kept that going. He did, and he's probably lost a lot of his front wing. And will be coming into pit, I imagine, as uh, Joe has sort of closed the gap. I mean, it's not really working, so it's probably not worth it getting him to push as much as he is. Uh, Alonso, then. Still, you can see these guys here. I think soon enough we're going to have to try and get this move done because Bottas has dropped already uh, how long have we got until our pit yeah see alonso's knackering his tires out as well which isn't going to help so we're gonna have to look after fernando's tires in fact whilst you're in all this drs train we'll probably put you on conserve for a little bit um and just manage this to make sure so perez is in gasly is in okay so i think a, a number of the runners that did medium medium hards are now coming in so it'll be very interesting to see how this works out for us. This is where the strategies come into play. Obviously, we're going to try and end on a softer tyre. Lots of yellow flags, but no safety cars. A safety car would be huge for us. It would be really, really helpful if we could have a safety car. It bunches everything together. Aha, Magnussen is in. Okay, Magnussen is in. Now we need the DRS. We need to catch up to Ocon and make sure we're in that DRS of of Ocon. 0 0.6 at the moment, but I'm willing to use a little bit of what we have to make sure that we're very close behind Ocon so that we can definitely get that DRS and then drop our tyres back down again. So, looks like we're getting there. I'm happy to sit behind... There we go. I'm happy to sit behind Ocon 
making sure we get that DRS, making sure that we're in a position to eke these tyres out for as long as they can. Joe can't have that privilege, really. He's got to just get this car round and see what he can do. Straight away, you can see how much we're on the arse of Ocon. Oh, teammates, obviously, Ocon and Alonso. So, um, yeah, this should allow us to conserve quite a lot of stuff as we get towards our final stint onto the medium tyres. But, yeah, hard tyres. Yeah, so they're coming out on hard. So we will be on quicker tyres than a number of the races here, but that we're not really battling with them that's the issue they, they've done all their stops and now they're still only just ahead of us so they're going to be miles ahead of us by the time it comes to uh making the decision i'm tempted to see if we can put do something for, i'm tempted to go to joe if we pit and hope for a safety car i mean he's out of the points anyway so we'll have to wait and see but we are still in the drs of esteban ocon which is what we need to be at the moment while saving tires and doing everything we need to, which is very helpful. Um, what's the earliest we could bring Fernando in and still get these tyres to the end? Probably there. So let's go for that. There is Sector 2 again. It's probably just the yellow flag, not a safety car. Yes. That is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Signs has had a spin, though. So that's probably going to put him in there amongst the shit. For a while, as... Um, Alonso's run wide again. Second time he's run wide. He's still lucky to keep pace with Ocon there. But he's not going to get the DRS. Which means we need to push. We need to push to get back into that DRS range. 1.3 at the moment. I know we're asking you for a lot here, Alonso. I don't think you're going to get back into DRS. 1.1. 1.08. 1.154, it's those, that cornering again, 1.16, 1.13, 1.06, 1.042, 1 did he get it, did he get DRS, no he didn't, damn it, no he didn't, because that is it's going to cost us a lot of our ERS that we charged up as well, so he's in it now, as long as he can keep it through the corners, but, yeah, I think he has just, yeah, so he has kept that bit of pace. That's all right. So he has got back into the DRS range of Esteban Ocon, which should pull him closer. What do we do with a problem like Joe? That's the issue, right? What's that? Lap 40, 50, 49, 48, 47. Yeah, that's the problem now. We're bringing them in on the same lap. So we're going to bring Joe in, not onto the softs. We're going to bring him, actually, we're going to bring him in basically... We're going to get Joe in now. Pit options, mediums. Pit this lap for Joe. Get hit him. Alonso stays out for one more lap. Uh, in fact, let's go full ham. Full, full bomb it, Fernando. Full bomb it. Do, see what you can get out of these tyres and this bit of fuel that you've got. Uh, might as well do the same for you. Oh, no, Joe, your fuel's a little bit uh, in the digit dodgy area. But uh, we can push the tyres because you're about to come into pit. Probably. Should have done that the other way around, looking at the tyre wear. 41%, 49%. Probably should have put Joe in after Fernando Alonso. But oh well. Uh, Joe comes into pit earlier than expected. Get onto the medium tyres. Nurse them home till the end. Go in for an undercut with Joe again. So he was ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Is Danny Rick doing that one stop? 68% tyre. He may get that one stop done, Danny Rick. It could work in his favour. Really could work in his favour. Joe with a good stop again, 2.374. And uh, out comes Guan Yu Zhou then. We're not going to look at it. I'm just getting ready to set his stuff back to what it needs to be. Uh, which is just standard, standard, standard. He's sort of nursing that home till the end. Down is 17th, but should be uh, should gain a number of places with other teams doing a pit stop. And uh, Fernando still on the back of Esteban Ocon. He's still doing a decent job of holding it in. Um, and then I forgot we're bringing Fernando in this lap as well onto the mediums. Okay, box, box, box. Um, and we'll see how that goes. We're going to drop a number of positions, but we box, should be in an okay position for the end of the race on that medium tyre. But yeah, it's been a bit action-packed, this one. It's been, uh, it's been a decent race. And there we go. Fernando Alonso comes into the pits. So, to be fair, Joe should be behind Alonso, right? So, Alonso should pit. Surely, Joe's going to catch him. It's going to be interesting, actually. This is going to be very interesting. 
Joe should be behind Alonso. Unless the undercut is really strong. No, he's not. Alonso's going to come out. Um, as as expected, I think. Yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty similar to how everyone was. So let's get those guys back down. So Alonso... Joe actually is... Really... Well, really far behind. Lost the place, I guess. Yeah, interesting to see. But both drivers then, on these mediums till the end... That is sort of strategy done as much as we can. Now it's just a case of what does everyone else do or hoping for a safety car. So 98, 96. Magnussen's going to be out till the end now as is Gasly. You'd expect Ocon, Stroll, Sonoda, Albon all to pit. I think Albon's a little bit out of our range, but it's going to be interesting. Hamilton, if he goes on to the mediums, which he has, he could be in a good position at the end of this race for a podium. If he can get those mediums working, he could very easily t overtake all of these drivers in front of him. So Stroll now does come into the pit. So this is a chance for us to pounce because he's pitting from hards, I think. So yeah, Stroll's coming in from his hard tyres now. So Alonso overtakes Stroll. That's good. That's what we need to see. That's the, the strategy working. Joe should overtake Stroll as well. Yes, he is. Good. So that's all working in our favour at the moment. Are we? Can we get Alonso onto the back of Kevin Magnussen without pushing anything? That's the, that's the query. Let's have a look at lap history. Um, Alonso did a one seventeen. Was that the leader doing a one seventeen, or is that us doing a one seventeen? Where's Magnussen? So Magnussen did a a one twelve. Oh, yeah, and we've done our outlap. Yeah, okay. So we can't, we don't have a time yet, but ideally we need to see Alonso lapping a lot quicker than Magnussen. But lots of people now pitting in front of Fernando Alonso. Signs is exiting. Albon is going to be exiting. Ocon has not changed his tyres yet. I think Alonso is going to get the overcut here. I think Alonso is going to get the overcut. It's going to be very close. Can he get in front of Ocon? Can he get in front of Ocon? Ocon's coming down. Alonso. There's Ocon in your screen. Alonso's got him. Alonso's got him. The strategy worked going for the lap earlier pit stop. Obviously, Ocon's going to have fresher tyres. But we are, and I think we are catching Magnussen uh, quite quickly as well. Sector 3, yellow flag. Someone's locked up. It looks like it might be Hulkenberg down here somewhere. 20 laps to go. We've got uh, Alonso up into 12th. Is Danny Rick going to make those tyres last? Signs, Hamilton. Oh, they're, they're on really bad mediums. I think they may come in again, you know. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, Joe does gain a race position on Schumacher, though. Someone else has locked up. Um, it's all kicking off now, isn't it? Just get towards the end of the race. But, uh, yeah. Alonso definitely gaining on on K-Mag, I would say. So, Alonso, 1.11. His fastest time yet. Which is good. And uh, Magnussen setting uh, 1.11.9. Alonso doing a 1.11.6. So, we are quicker, but not by... Not by mega amounts, to be honest. It does look like we're closing the gap, though, which is which is good. As soon as we're in that DRS, it should be much, much easier to try and make a move. As Sector 2, again, yellow flag, but no safety car. If we got a safety car, I think I would take the risk of going onto soft tyres. We're at the points at the moment. Someone spun Sector 1. It'll be a yellow flag as well. Not, not a safety car. It's a wide circuit, so lots of runoff. Lots of runoff. Bottas, come on! Oh, he's got it running and he's still in second. Damn it. We need Bottas to crash out, ideally. Really don't want Alfa Romeo to get big points in this one. So there we go. Alonso has caught up K-Mag quite easily, to be honest. Um, his tyres are slightly overheating. We're not going to do too much about that because you're sitting right behind K-Mag now. We just need to time a good... Uh, Overplay, over, overtaking position. Sector two again, another yellow flag. Somebody locked up. Not having a, not having a good race. If that was, I mean, Vettel was having a shocking race behind us. Signs locked up in front. Joe in fourteenth, seven seconds off Ocon. I think he's not. Really, I mean, Fernando Alonso may get this move done naturally. I don't think we've got. We can push the tires for maybe one lap. We could. As well, we could sit, I mean, ideally, 
we pass Magnuson, Ocon pass Magnuson, o Ocon passes us and we just slipstream him and pick up our ERS charge again for the attack at the end. But we do need to close that gap to Danny Ricciardo. And Magnuson can't even see him really. So we do need to get past Kevin Magnuson at some point to make this better. So let's push the tyres a little bit. Happy to push. Uh, let's go into overtake as we come around this corner. And Alonso straight away going to try and make the move. Get it done with ERS and DRS. He is going to get it done. Lovely stuff. So we can uh, straight away just put those back. Because we've got that move done. And hopefully with Danny Rick's old hard tyres. We rein him in and get a point. Danny Rick in 10th. A 1.11.9. We're going 0.6 of a second quicker. So we should catch. We should catch Alonso. Uh, we should catch Danny Ricardo pretty easily to be honest we could absolutely bosh it to try and get there a little bit quicker but i feel like the the natural pace we've got is gonna is gonna catch us to danny ricardo he's got i mean he's hanging on the back of albon and signs as well ish he's not getting drs which is massive for us but um yeah we're in a good position here we're in a good position to get a point at the end of this race it's not ideal i'd want more points but one point is better than none, so if we can get that done, I'm just going to pop this into conserve for this sort of court. There we go. Just want to do a little bit just so it got in the green. It always freaks me out when it's still red. So, right, 3.23, last lap there. We did a 111.5, 112.2. Yeah, Danny Rick's going to be mincemeat. We're, we're easily going to get Danny Rick here. He's going to have to pit again as well. Hamilton and Surely Hamilton and Russell are going to have to pit again. No way. And signs. They've absolutely messed up their strategy. They really have messed up their strategy. Is that just dipped into the red again, which is always always makes my heart flutter. It really does. I think... How far is Hamilton ahead of us? Nine, so he's nine seconds off Perez. So he's not... I mean, we could catch them. If they pit again, which surely they have to. Surely 35% tyres aren't going to make it to the end. We could be... We could get into the points. We could get into some serious points up here. Especially if Russell and Hamilton keep battling each other as well. I want to keep an eye on that. I think they're going to have to pit again. I think they've royally balls, balls up that strategy. As, uh, where's was lap times for Danny Rick? That last one. 112.2, 111.8, yeah. 0.4 of a second. We should reel him in before the end of this race. Oh, wait there. We've got multiple cars crashing. It's only a yellow flag. Someone's in the wall, and it's still only a yellow flag. Norris has caused some sort of incident. Joe, I think, is far enough away. Multiple cars crashing, and it's not a safety car. So Lando Norris with his DRS open, coming down here, locks up into the back of Lance Stroll. Both of them into the wall. I mean, that should be a safety car, right? That's surely got to be a safety car. Norris is back driving again. I'm going to assume Stroll is back driving again as well. But, yeah, Norris is absolutely buggered on that one. Oh, okay. Okay, we're, we're gaining on Daniel Ricciardo, right? He's in our sights now. So this is this should be a pretty easy task. We could sit behind him for a while, but I feel like we need to make hay while the sun's shining and, um, and get this done. Uh, we may push Guan Yu Zhou in a minute as well. But, I mean, these tyres up here, 32, 36, 37, they're still... A good number of laps to go. I can't do the maths. 14, 13 laps? 14 laps. Um, I can't see their tyres lasting. I cannot see those tyres lasting till the end for those guys. We are now lapping half a second quicker than Daniel Ricciardo every single lap, which is like... Oh, okay, Mag, where'd you come from? Get out of here, son. Where have you snuck up from, K-Mag, you little bastard? Get out of here. Whoa, 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 you are got, well, I know you've got hard tyres on and they're the same way as us, but we should be quicker than you. I don't have that pace. We should definitely be quicker than you. Oh my god, oh my god, what is going on? What is going on up here? Lance Stroll, Lance Stroll has just messed everything up because he's a lapped car and he's got damage. Oh, and he's let Magnus, oh my god. Get out. We've just lost two spaces because of Lance pissing Stroll. Are you... Oh, Lance Stroll, you absolute knobber. 
What are you doing? Now you're going to make it so we have to push. We just need to push oh my god. And we've lost DRS to them as well because Lance Stroll's an absolute fucking pillock. Oh, Lance Stroll. And you've not even pitted. You've not even pitted. Oh, he is pitting now. Guan Yu Zhou's locked up as well. He's in the wall. Oh my god. The only positive of that is that it might cause a safety car. What is going on there? Stroll's had a shocker. <sighs> Joe's moving again, but... Right, I mean... Grand you, Joe. Um... More options. Retire the car, mate. You're doing nothing. I'm not going to change your front wing for the last, like, two laps. So, Grand Joe is going to be retiring. Alonso, right, we've caught them up. Another thing happening in Sector 1. But we were so close to Daniel Ricciardo and getting the points. And now we've got to pass loads of people. Fucking Daniel Ricciardo and Lance. Fucking Lance Stroll. I don't know why I'm getting angry at Daniel Ricciardo. It's Lance Stroll. Oh, my. Lance Stroll. What an idiot. What? Just park the car and get a safety car out. Unbelievable that. The fact that we sat behind him and he let two people go past on the outside. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Because now we're going to have to pass Magnuson, Ocon and Ricardo to get this done. Right. Well, we're in we're in DRS. So we can, we're going to have to conserve a few things here. Yeah, copy me. And use the DRS to pull us along. And stay within DRS range and then pounce at the end of the race. Because... Oh. Bloody Lance Stroll. I was building up a great position to overtake Daniel Ricciardo then. It's just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, we've done a bit of manual ERS-ness and we've charged up a little bit of the battery now. We've actually caught up all these people in front of us who are on absolutely knackered tyres are falling into our grasp. So again, it could, could work in our favour. I think we're going to have to deploy and go for something. 11 laps to go, 65% tyres for us. We're going to have to go and push and, and make a move soon. And I'm sort of thinking, why not do it earlier on in the race? I know it's against what I normally do, but we're going to ask Alonso to push and go for this. We need to get past Magnus and Ricardo, Ocon, Signs as well, potentially. But, yeah, let's see what Alonso can do. We need to use all of his skill here. All of his skill. In fact, let's go to overtake. It uses slightly less uh, charge, I think. So... Tyres, we've got 63% with 10 laps to go. It's going to be a push at the end. We might be down to like 40%. But I'm hoping we can do it. As uh, Signs is going so slow as well. 21% tyres. That's why. Uh, you never know. There might be a safety car at the end of this. Because people are really messing up their strategies. So we're looking down the inside of Magnussen. Can't quite get it done. Sitting behind him on the slipstream. Maybe I retired Joe a bit early to be honest. Oh no, he lost his front wing, didn't he? He was completely out of it. But... This is the thing now. Go on, get that round, get it round Magnuson. Get it round him. Have this inside. Stick your nose in, Alonso. You know you can do it. Go, 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 go. Right, let's go uh, into deploy off these last couple of corners round here. It's going to absolutely kill our battery. But we need to make sure we don't lose. Signs comes into pit. He's, yeah, his tyres were knackered. That doesn't surprise me. Can Fernando get this done? Uh, not quite. Not quite. And Danny Rick is letting Ocon pull away, which is not good for us. Surely Russell and Hamilton come into pit as well. Their tyres are absolutely dead. Our tyres are starting to go that way as well, so we've got to drop back to standard. We're just going to sit behind Ricardo, hopefully get it done on DRS. Get back off. See if we can get it done in these corners. If we can't get it done in these corners, we're going to go down the start finish straight with um, okay, Deploy and just get past Dan and Ricardo because we can't afford to lose Esteban Ocon. We have to stay on the back of Ocon to keep up with Russell and Hamilton, who I think are going to pit again and get that done. As there's nine laps to go. Come on, Fernando. I mean, Magnussen's there as well. That's what's making it hard for us to pass. Right. Deploy out of these corners then. Use energy if you need. Yep, use that energy. Absolutely okay. gun it. Come on, Fernando. We have low battery. Slipstream's there. He pulls out. He knows he's going to have the DRS. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's going to get past him. Okay. Right, we have to catch up. It's four seconds the gap now. Absolute knobhead Stroll. Stroll's such a dick. We need Ricardo to hold up Magnussen. That's the that's the key. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to push. We're gonna have to push to try and get away from Daniel Ricardo. Because he's gonna hang on to us and that's gonna pull Magnussen along. So we've got to push. It's gonna be really tough towards the end. Especially with fuel. Ah, oh, what's the what lap times is Ocon doing? Our tyres are more knackered than Ocon's as well. Look at that. Two seconds a lap. Stuck behind Daniel Ricciardo. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I think it's... Oh, I might even argue it's all over for us to catch Ocon. I think we're pushing too hard. Okay, Danny Rick is holding up K-Mag. We have lost the... Uh, the DRS off uh, Ricardo. Well, he's back in range now, so he's going to get it on the start finish straight. But Hamilton is pitting. Hamilton is pitting, so we've just got to make sure these tyres last till the end. I still think Russell's going to come in and pit as well. So Hamilton, who I thought was coming out on fresh mediums, wasn't. I said earlier on he might be in a position to get a podium. So we're up to ninth. Russell's on 20% tyres. Ricardo's on 38% tyres. Okay, Russell surely has to pit again, and we gain another spot with that. Oh, Danny Rick, bugger off. What are you playing at behind me? Go away. You're not wanted here. Oh, Danny Rick, go away on your unbelievably used hard tyres. Piss off. There you go, Alonso. Get up the inside of him. and Keep it. Keep your nose in on the outside. No, I'm going to give a... Oh, look at K-Mag there waiting to pounce as well. I wouldn't mind it if we get the DRS off this at this bit here, which we should do. Russell comes into pit as well, so this will be another ga place gained for us. What's Hamilton come out on now? Softs, yeah, he'll they'll fly up the leaderboard. They'll probably get their positions back, to be honest. As um, Russell is just finishing off his pit stop. We're still battling with Danny Rick, who's on ridiculously aged hards. We can't get past him. But we are up into ninth and there's not many laps to go. So, just got to see how this one plays out. It's not ideal. That's the issue. It's not ideal. Right. Deploy. Get past Danny Rick, please. Use energy. Okay, copy. Come on. I mean, how is K-Mag going around the outside and we can't take him on the inside? Absolutely ridiculous, this. This is what they said they patched with tyre wear. Oh, and now we we fall behind both drivers. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, such... And Russell and Hamilton on soft tyres are going to catch us. We're not going to get points in this one. We're not going to get points. I think we just have to accept it. Yeah, Russell, uh, Russell's caught up to us already. He'll probably pass us really easily. We still can't get past Daniel Ricciardo um, on his, what, 30% tyres? 31%. His tyres. We can't get past him. We're now lapping similar times to him, if not a little bit quicker. Half a second quicker, but... Oh, Russell's going to make easy meat of us. We're going to drop out the points. <sighs> go and get him. Five more, laps. Five more laps. Five laps to go. We haven't been able to overtake Daniel Ricciardo for bloody ages. And when we made a move... Magnussen got past. Stroll got in the way. Oh, we'd be so much higher up if Stroll hadn't got in the way. What a dickhead. Lance Stroll. I mean, I hated him anyway, but Lance Stroll has actually ruined this for us. Has actually ruined this race. That's Verstappen behind us coming to lap us, I think. Which means we'll all get blue flag for him to come through. Unreal, isn't it? Lan how, can, how can one driver cause so many issues for me? He caused me issues when he was in my team. He causes me issues when he's not in my team. Unbelievable. Um, uh, absolutely unbelievable. ERS is dead and we haven't got anywhere closer to Daniel Ricciardo. George Russell's right on our arse and we're going to knock us out of points. Unbelievable. See you at the end of the race. Right, Max Verstappen's on his last lap. Look at this gaggle of cars. It's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9 all up here. I mean, it's the last lap, so let's just 
just go for it. Just go for it. See what you can do, Fernando. Let's watch it from the cockpit because that is a mess in front of us. An absolute mess. So use energy if you need it. Daniel Ricardo is holding absolutely everybody up. We're not going to be able to get past it because they're going to be three wide. Oh. I don't know where Verstappen is. He's ahead of us. So Verstappen's going to end this race before we even get a chance to overtake them. Oh, man. What, what a shit show. From Lance Stroll, from Daniel Ricciardo. I mean, Daniel Ricciardo, is he going to hold on to a point? If he holds on to a point, that's, that's incredible from Daniel Ricciardo. Absolutely incredible to do a one-stop and hold on to a point. Lance, I blame no one else but Lance Stroll for this. I think our strategies were good. Lance Stroll messed it up by not getting a safety car and just sitting in the road and letting Ocon and Magnussen. Ocon is sixth. Ocon is sixth, potentially seventh. That should have been us. That should have been us. Oh, I'm so annoyed. For a driver that I really hate in Lance Stroll, he's really making it easy to carry on hating him. Um, unbelievable. Dropped four places to 13th. Granny Joe dropped nine to 20. Uh, not a good race for Aston Martin. I'm not happy with that. Constructors Alfa Romeo are going to jump us considerably. 10 points there. Advantage. We're going to the final race of the season, needing to beat Alfa Romeo by 10 points. And hopefully, Lance Stroll loses all seats, is, isn't racing next year. Oh, Lance Stroll. What a knob. Well, good news. Our wind tunnel is complete, which is good. Um, wind tunnel upgrade is complete, so we're going to get a bit more of advantage of that. Post race, a difficult race, yeah, it was. Next up, then, the final race of the season is um, is nearly upon us, isn't it? Here he is, Abu Dhabi. That's what we'll be back for next season. Oh yeah, we had a, a point, didn't we, for Guan Yu Zhou? So one unused development point. Let's go uh, cornering. We'll get him up. So he's now an 82 overall, Guan Yu Zhou, which is good to see. Djugovic have one? No. Alonso doesn't have one either. Three years left on his. One year, two years. Okay. Uh, let's go into oh, no, it's the race weekend. We're not going to go into that. We'll do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, even Alpha Tauri are now on us as well. We might get sixth rather than fifth, but oh, disaster. Bloody Lance Stroll.